Well, it is official. Daniel Ricciardo is coming back into F1 in the seat of the Alpha Tauri, replacing Nick De Vries. He's had a string of bad results. But yes, it is true. Red Bull have confirmed it. Daniel Ricciardo is back. I'm joined by Sam from Planet F1. Sam, got initial thoughts to that, mate? Well, it's shocked, really. Like, I think I think we all saw De Vries's future was very very iffy but I don't think anyone thought it'd become this soon I think everyone was expecting to at least till the summer break I mean it's quite a I mean I wouldn't say rash decision but it's very ruthless I know Red Bull are known for that but like to do it this early in the season when you've got the summer break in two two three races time like it just seems crazy but they've swung the axe they've clearly decided that De Vries is out and they've got Ricardo in I guess there's an element for Red Bull of what have we got to lose by doing this? If you look back through Nick DeVries' results this year in F1, we know that last year he came in for Williams and scored, I think it was two points, ninth. Um, but this year, 14th, 14th, 15th, 20th, 18th, 18th, 12th, 14th, 18th, 17th, 17th. Those sort of results and zero points, obviously, those sort of results are not going to keep you uh, around near the Red Bull team, are they? No, they're not. He's one of two drivers yet to score a point. It's the other one being Logan Sargent. I think, I think they're sort of worried that they're going to get really left left behind. <coughs> left behind. Sorry, I'm so emotional by the news. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I think maybe also you could sort of consider that we've seen a lot of teams suddenly do start well. Like the Williams looked really well at Silverstone. Yeah. Is that going to start to worry Alpha Tower? I think it's only really them and Alpha Romeo who haven't made that great a stride. And I think. The writing has always been on the wall of Sonoma. I mean, we've we've heard quotes after quotes from Helmut Marko, like him openly admitting that Christian Horner didn't want him in the seat, and then him saying he's got four races to prove his future. I think once your boss starts saying that, then like y- your time's numbered, really. Like he's yeah. he was never going to do that well unless he started outperforming Sonoda, and I think that's just another factor of why he's gone. Is that Sonoda's just outclassed him at every race? I know he's occasionally finished ahead of him, but. If there's ever going to be an Alpha Tari driver that's fine for points, it's Sonoda. He's like dragged that car much higher than it should be. And I think that just made De Vries's performance look even worse. Yeah, I agree. Is there is there any part of you that feels sorry for Nick De Vries? Because you look back, he's actually had a, a good driving career. He won Formula E a couple of years ago in the 2020 to 21 season. And he won Formula 2 quite a few years ago, back in I've got uh, 2014. So he obviously is a talented driver and is very, very capable. And Richard, who comes on the channel, is also a pro driver, sings his praises. But ultimately, he's just not been able to make it stick in F1. Do you have any sympathy for him? I mean, yes and no. Like, I always thought it was a bit of a baffling decision. I think Alpha Tarion, obviously, Toro Rossa before that's always sort of been... Their, their goal, really, is to sort of get young drivers ready for Red Bull. So the fact they were taking, A, a driver who wasn't even part of their system let alone part of the Mercedes system and all the controversy that would cause. But also, he was 28, so how much more can he grow? Like, he's older than Verstappen, for example. Like, yeah. he's got, he hasn't got that future ahead of him. I think maybe if he was 21, 20, he might have got a bit more leniency. Rebel could say, okay, we'll give him a few years, like they did with Sonoda. Sonoda had quite mm-hmm. a rough start, but he had age on his side. And I think they just looked at the reason for, like you said, he's not scoring points here and now. And I think that's what they wanted from him. That's what... They were trying to replace Gasly, who was an established driver. And yes, he was a rookie, but I think they were hoping that he was going to be a bit more than that. And it ultimately, it hasn't happened. Obviously, it's never nice to see a guy lose his job. But like, I think that's just the way F1 is. Like, If, you, if yeah. you're not performing well, like you're going to expect your time to come home, be over sooner rather than later. And, well, you know, when you look at Red Bull, you've got the likes of Daniel Ricciardo, eight-time uh, race Formula One race winner and Liam Lawson on their books, who's doing unbelievable things and is you know tipped to kind of maybe even be the next big thing. If you're not scoring points, you're not going to keep your job. But look, let's look ahead to Max uh, to Daniel Ricciardo because I'm personally so excited about seeing him back. We know he's such a character. Uh, I mean, just just alone for his interviews, they're going to be great fun um, as well. But as I said, he's an eight-time Grand Prix winner. The two races that really stick out for me uh, with, uh, for him were the Monaco race where he limped that Red Bull at home and, and very famously did the the drop into the, the pool after and winning in Monza with a McLaren where they got their mm-hmm. one two. I mean, he's he's had an incredible Formula One career. What do you think we can realistically expect from him in this not such good car of an Alfa Tori? 
Well, I think that's a great question to be honest. I think no one really knows like which Ricardo this is. Like, is it the Red Bull Ricardo that was really good? Is it the Renault Ricardo that's okay? Or is it the McLaren Ricardo Ricardo that aside from that Monza win was awful really? Like he yeah. just did not have any confidence in that car. And I think it's quite surprising. It's like we all thought this obviously he's just done a Pirelli test at Silverstone. We all thought that was sort of Red Bull's first look at him, but it sort of transpired that it was like the final decision they needed to yeah. make. And they they were saying that his times were really impressive. And I've I've heard a rumor that he was he would have been quick enough to be on the front row. And like, what? That's obviously really good. Like, I know, yeah. Like <laughs> again, with the big with the big caveat that it is the it is um the Red Bull car. So obviously that's like an edit, extra five seconds anyway. But I mean, yeah. in comparison to Perez, it's not great. But yeah, truly, I don't know what to expect from him. Like. Yes, it's an Alphatari card that's not great. I mean, I'm wondering, are they expecting to match Sonoda? Are they expecting him to beat Sonoda? Like, where's Red Bull's expectations from him? And I think one of the most interesting parts is the fact that on the press release, like they all said, it said loan. It didn't say he's going to Alphatari. It said we're loaning him there. Like, yeah. if I'm Sergio Perez, I'm looking at the wording of that and I'm getting a bit worried. But oh, mate. they very much made it clear that he's coming back at some point. And like, if he, if he goes there does a little over a season and a half and he's really good, then I think I'm very worried from Perez. Yeah, because if he starts scoring points, which, look, Daniel Ricciardo, for me, has nothing to lose. He's going into one of the weaker cars. He's not driven for a while. There's there's almost, I tend to a sense of not a huge amount of expectation of him to go and do magical things. I mean, maybe we expect him to score a point or two, kind of like how Sonoda has done. But if he starts actually chipping away, imagine, you know, are we expecting him, by the way, to go in for Hungary this 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 weekend? Yeah, that's this right. That amazing. was a big surprise. It's like he's coming. It's, it's, it's two weeks' time, so they got a weekend off. Two weeks, and then sorry. he's back in. But yeah, like that's incredibly quick turnaround from Silverstone. Like that's mad. Like that's what I was saying about. I I think everyone thought the summer break would be the big decision, but then that's technically like two and a half races because obviously we've got Hungary and then we've got um, a sprint race as well. Like. Mm. So that's a lot of points that you could potentially be getting for someone like Alphatari. So maybe that's why they've pulled the plug and like got in them in so quickly. But yeah, I think <laughs> I think you're sort of right to say that Ricardo's got nothing to lose because I think his stock was at an all time low at McLaren. Like he got sacked. I mean, he's been a driver in the same situation as DeVries has. So he's yeah. sort of sympathised with him. He got sacked for Piastri, who came in last year, and I think. He sort of knows what that feels like, but on the flip side, he's got yeah, like he's got nothing to prove really. Like he can just go out there, enjoy driving again. Yes, it's not in a quick car, but like you said, maybe that'll do him good. Just being able to get some overtakes done on the lesser skilled drivers down the bottom yeah. of the grid. Yeah, definitely. Well, I, I, I'm very interested by what you said. Is this now the beginning? of Daniel Ricciardo coming for Sergio Perez's seat in the Red Bull. As you said, the press release said that they were loaning him to Alfa Torre. Not giving him, loaning him. Sergio Perez is going to be worried. But mate, can you imagine if he comes in, starts out out scoring Perez or even just out qualifying him or anything like, oh my God. Honestly, the next few weeks up until the summer break are going to be absolutely fascinating and we're going to be covering all of it here on on track gp and of course uh with all those proper details on planet f1 as well sam thank you so much for jumping on this and doing it so quickly you're welcome yeah you're welcome brilliant uh we'll be back with all the news stay up to date because this is obviously going to unfold over the next few weeks as well we'll be covering all of it here we'll speak to you soon but for now daniel ricardo is back see you soon